So we have a global pandemic, and of course, it is impacting our nation everywhere, including Arizona. We put some states on here, some of the states that were making national news early in terms of the cases that they've had and the cases per capita. We talked a lot about New York State and learned a lot from what New York State went through and Massachusetts and uh, Baton uh, Rouge and uh, uh, New Orleans specifically. You can also look at where Arizona is in comparison to some of the western states. It gives you a uh, a focus on data and information that we follow and track every day wanting to make the best possible decisions so that we continue to slow the spread of COVID-19 in Arizona and protect our citizens. So some of the national trends that people I want to be aware of is in the past week, 19 states have seen a new rise in cases over the past week compared to the previous week. In the past week, eight states have reported a 50% increase in COVID-19 cases from the previous week. And since the start of June, 14 states have recorded their highest ever seven-day average of new cases. We're seeing increasing cases. We're going to continue our gradual and phased-in reopening. We will balance public health with public safety, and we'll increase our testing and our contact tracing. We're also going to increase in terms of hospital capacity on whatever will come next. We're prepared today, but we're vigilant every day and focused on this every day. Of course, we've been discussing some other things in the state and in the nation, but in terms of top priority, public health has been top of mind for my administration, and it has been Dr. Christ's entire focus. What people need to know today is we have capacity for COVID-19 hospitalizations or non-COVID-19 hospitalizations, regardless of the level of care that you would need in the state of Arizona, anywhere in the state of Arizona. Arizona has capacity. We're going to increase testing. Our testing in Arizona has doubled since the stay-at-home order expired. On May 15th, we were north of 146,000 tests. Today, we're north of 300,000. Testing has increased by more than 500% since April 15th. We were at 47,000 plus PCR tests on that date. Today, again, 309,273 tests. We want to return smarter as a state. We know so much more about COVID-19 today than we did on March 11th. Yet, this is a virus we will continue to stay focused and vigilant around.